It is the 9th of the 10th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Let's get started. Sat.net. The people of Bayou Corn have been through a lot. It started this summer when residents of this small Bayou community about 70 miles west of New Orleans began feeling tremors and reporting foul odors. Then in August, a large sinkhole near the site of a cavern that has long been mined by the Texas Brine Company threatened the town and forced evacuations. And the news, and the news keeps getting worse. Now officials are warning that the residents that a powerful buildup of methane gas under Bayou Corn that could cause a massive explosion. The crisis continues in Louisiana, and I will get to that when I get to the E&E news. Perfect magnetic storm brings spectacular northern lights show to the United Kingdom, coupled with record low temperatures. Uh, earthquake magnitude 6.4 in the, the Bellany Islands region. Uh, that's in the Antarctic region there. Mysterious hum reported at Mount Victoria, New Zealand. A mysterious low pitch humming sound has been troubling some Wellington residents for the last few days, and it seems no one has any idea what it might be. The officials say they're looking into it. Uh, if this becomes a common occurrence, they definitely want to know uh, any reports on what's going on and that kind of thing. Southern California storm will bring severe weather outbreak. A storm system will hit Southern California on Wednesday and Thursday, ejecting into the plains by Friday and Saturday, with the widespread severe thunderstorms expected out there. So we've got another big system rolling through the United States. Uh, winter forecast, not mild, but wild for eastern United States this year. And they've got a map showing uh, where the above and below average snowfall is going to be this year, uh, the way they're guessing right now. <laughs> Shh, the media doesn't want us to see this. Some spots were 25 to 30 below normal, breaking record cold lows, some records over 100 years old. 100-year-old cold records broken, but nary a word, an incredible departure from normal happened with yesterday's lows out there. Uh, says reader Ralph Fatto, some spots were 25 to 30 below normal, breaking uh, record cold lows, some records over 100 years old. New South Wales, Australia faces severe hailstorm threat over the summer. Uh, New South Wales should brace itself for a slew of fierce summer hailstorms with the potential to cause billions of dollars worth of damage. The state emergency service uh, is warning. And they're saying more than 50 storms are expected to hit, that kind of thing. Over to the RSOE, they've got a report uh, hazmat uh, Halliburton, a small radioactive cylinder that went missing from Halliburton's truck last month, was found on a Texas road late Thursday the company said, ending a weeks-long hunt for the device that involved local, state, and federal authorities. Uh, the 7-inch stainless steel tube, which contained a small amount of radioactive material, was lost by an oil and gas crew somewhere along the 130-mile journey from the vicinity of Pecos to Odessa in West Texas. Crazy. So it just fell off the truck, huh? But anyway, they found it. That's good news. Over to E&E &E News. Uh, state officials elevated hydrocarbon readings on residential streets thousands of feet from sinkhole levels previously so high sheriff threatened public with arrest for tampering with the monitors. Uh, so they're not buying their own, uh, they say don't mess with the monitors, we'll arrest you. Pretty serious stuff. 60 kilometers from Fukushima plant, kids walk to school each day on a road contaminated with radioactivity of 70,000 becquerels. Officials deep natural formation may be the source of gas around giant sinkhole in Louisiana. Fears it could reach the surface at explosive levels, and you can remember I reported uh, they're saying the clay pack is, can only take 75 to 85 psi uh, before it breaks through and develops uh, cracks directly. Massive mushroom-like cloud in Russia after a spontaneous missile explosion. Shockwave caught on film, felt 25 miles away, entire town in plumes of black smoke, 
quote, no nuclear arms are involved, no risk to public, public evacuated. Now, I followed up on this story pretty well. They did rush a bunch of buses in there, and they evacuated everybody within a 25-kilometer zone around uh, this explosion. Definitely a story to look into. Uh, sure did look like a mushroom cloud to me. And the second video on this particular story, uh, right at the end, you can literally, you got an up-close picture, and you can see, look like to me like big missiles flying into the air. TEPCO workers unable to find water level in reactor number one containment vessel. Quote, some damage was found. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, we already know for a fact that we have three uh, reactors that have already melted through containment. Uh, where did the water go? Give me a break. High temperature incinerator building on site at Fukushima Diachi, across from the incineration workshop. Uh, so they're going to go ahead and burn that highly radioactive material right there in open incinerators. Japan legal expert, another nuclear accident will mean no future for country. You and us are talking on the most Im important issue. Be confident in yourselves and spread this movement further. Unquote. Uh, what destroyed the Soviet Union? It sure wasn't capitalism. It was Chernobyl. And uh, they admitted it. Uh, KATC sinkhole concerns surface at Lake Pin Pingur, 50 miles away from the sinkhole. There's bubbling on the south side with white foam. Uh, scientists have yet to determine the cause. Uh, and they're saying all the stories I'm following that uh, gas leaks in the Louisiana Bayou. Swamp gas um, is not an uncommon thing, but uh, it seems that there's they, they think it might be coming from an underground uh, source, a.k.a. we're all trying to follow this BP connection. Uh, thanks to everybody who's helping, and of course the stories go on and on and on and on, of course. Um, I'm going to leave you with that tonight. <laughs> Enjoy while you can. Thanks, everybody.